Hey, what's up, everybody? Mike back with another video. So today I've got something pretty interesting for you. Let me tell you a little bit about Optima's EH461. Now, this particular projector has 5,000 lumens, curtains open, blinds fully open, 1080p goodness. Let's go check it out. Along with sending us over the EH461, Optima were also kind enough to send something else for us to play with, which is called QuickCast. Now, the QuickCast system is capable of streaming full 1080p video with audio through up to 10 meters of distance, including like big, thick brick walls. And honestly, the service is absolutely fantastic. It does come at a bit of a premium, almost 800 pounds at least in the UK. So yeah, maybe you want to consider keeping your Chromecast. But if you're in an office environment or a school environment, this is something that you definitely might want to consider. So the projector has a full HD resolution, full 1080p, and it also has 5,000 lumens in standard bright mode. Contrast ratio 20,000 to 1, native aspect ratio is 16 by 9, but it does support multiple formats, including super wide. Keystone correction, horizontal 25 degrees, vertical 30 degrees. It also supports four corner keystone correction for maximum ease of installation. Uniformity is only 75%, that could be a little bit higher, but this wasn't marketed as a home theater projector in the first instance. Throw ratio 1.22 to 1, 1 1.46 to 1, the projection distance of minimum 1.23 and it goes all the way up to 5.63 meters. Zoom of 1.2, which could be a little bit better, I would have liked to have seen a 1.3, native offset of 115 degrees. So let's put the projector aside for two seconds and let me show you exactly what you get inside the box. Now you get, as usual with most Optima projectors, a couple of power leads. You usually get a European one and for me here in the UK, I get the UK power adapter. So that's exactly what you're looking for. In terms of the remote control, it's one that we've seen before. It's got quite a small form factor, but it does give you all of the features. It's got the same profile as the HD143X and it's got key buttons like the laser. You even got the eco mode. Yeah, so again office features you also get a one page instruction manual the full instruction manual can be downloaded from the website so let me clear up some confusion first the eh461 was not designed to be a home theater projector like the uh, benq w1050 or the optima hd 143x or even the viewsonic pro 7827 this was made for an office environment a school environment or maybe some kind of retail outlet where they're using the projector to display something but this projector, in terms of using it like I am going to be in this video, serves a specific group of people who need a really high lumen projector, be it because you can't control ambient light for whatever reason, or if you want to do a bit of projector mapping, or even some kind of a projector stacking, or you just want a really bright projector and you just want to waste a thousand pound because there are better options out there for that money and I'll link them in the video description but in terms of this projector again this will serve a very niche group of people that really need the 5000 lumens so with that said let's go actually physically take a look at the EH461 now physically taking a look at the projector coming around to the first side you can see there's a big section for venting and if I turn the projector around a bit you can see this kind of slash design so it's not a square block design like the HD 143X. On the other side there is a massive opening again for airflow this projector does run hot. On the base of the projector you have two adjustable feet which will actually come out around 25mm and there is a static leg on the rear bottom corner. Also on the projector you've also got your weight issue. This projector only weighs about three kilos very light very portable and again it's got one of the smallest form factors i've seen out of any 1080p projector so on the rear of this projector there is quite a comprehensive selection of ports including two hdmi 1.4a with 3d support you got your mhl port your vga port your audio input audio output you even have a usb a reader so you can actually play files directly from the projector you also got an rs232 for more of an office kind of setup you also got an rj45 12 volt trigger and you also got one mini usb so again yeah pretty comprehensive so how about the menu on the EH461? So here I can actually pleasantly surprise to see that Optima have kept the same menu as you would find on their consumer grade products for home entertainment like the HD 143X, the 144X, the Derby. So the menu is pretty much the same. You've got your brilliant color, you've got your wall color, you can change your gamma as you can see. So you can go for a standard 2.2 or a 1.8 all the way up to uh, something like a 2.4. So that's quite good for those of you that like to actually mess about with the settings. Again, they've got their dynamic black technology again built into this projector and 
if I'm honest, then I wasn't actually expecting too much, considering this projector's got 75% uniformity, compared to like something like the HD 143X, which is much higher. And But as you're looking at this image, you can actually quite see, the colours look quite natural, in eco, dynamic, and if I actually boost it up to the bright mode, here you go, it doesn't actually look too bad. Better than 75% uniformity. So again, I was genuinely impressed with the actual output from my Virgin Media TV box when actually using it. You've also got your usual features like your image shift so ease of installation again is a big point and they do it very well you've got your four corner keystone correction which is like a must for me and then you've got a horizontal and vertical keystone adjustment so there's no difference in the menu between this and something more orientated towards a consumer home theater like a hd 143x this projector also fares quite well in the noise output test, hitting only about 28 decibels in the eco mode. If you actually bump it up to the brighter slam setting, it will go to about 32, maybe a touch over. So, daytime projector. So, this is again for an extreme circumstances. Somebody wants to use their projector in the daytime, and this honestly is the best thing that I've actually seen personally. Yes, it's not an actual home theater projector. Yes, it's more orientated towards an office, but this is what it looks like in the daytime blinds and curtains open this is in standard mode not even in bright mode because in bright mode you will get that kind of greeny tinge to the image here i've drawn the curtains 50 percent of the way closed blinds are still open and this is the kind of image quality that you can actually expect and honestly i was ridiculously impressed this is an image in the daytime that i've actually calibrated a little bit because this is like uh, i think this program is called our girl or something like that really good check it out by the way now seeing as we're comparing it against like a home theater projector then even in the scenes where we're panning there doesn't seem to be too much in the way of motion blur again so that is again another thumbs up for this projector and if you calibrate this right this is a now midday now and i've just got the curtains a little bit closed and again you can see the room and the environment and the image quality is absolutely spot on let's see what this thing can do in the dark And here's a quick look side by side at the EH461 and the Optima HD 143X. Now, for those of you wanting a really bright projector and you might be considering something like this, then this is the kind of color difference that you'll see on the two different kind of projectors. Office versus home theater. Now they're both set to eco mode. They're both set to a color temperature in the standard mode and the settings are exactly the same. And if you look at the black strip on the EH461, you'll see it doesn't look as dark or it's got like a glossy tone to it. When you look at the 143X, you can see a matte black finish, which is kind of what you're actually expecting, not to mention the trees and the sky in the background. So there you have it guys, the Optima EH461. So it serves either an office environment or for somebody specifically looking for a really bright projector that they can use for other purposes except for just watching movies or playing games. In terms of any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section and as always, I will do my best to answer them. Until next time, my name is Mike, this is Tech404. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.